Welcome back to Plinkster's Pick of the Week. This week we're going to be looking at the CZ Scorpion Evo 3 S1. That's a mouthful. There are a lot of different variations of the CZ Scorpion. This is particular one is the Evo chambered in 9mm and is considered a subgun. It's also considered a pistol. If you ever purchase one of these pistols, you will get this little tag right here in the back saying, if you attach a stock to the rear of this firearm, you must first go to the ATF and get your tax stamp to make it an SBR. However, if you put a pistol brace on the back of it, no tax stamp required. Let's go over some of the specs on the Scorpion Evo 3S1. The barrel is seven and three quarter inches long, and you do have a bird cage right here in the front. It is threaded for half by 28, so that will fit most of your nine millimeter suppressors. On top of the pistol, there is a 11 inch Picatinny rail, and they do sport the new low profile CZ sights. There are four different aperture settings here on this rear sight. So if you're shooting close range, you can dial it into one setting, or if you're shooting really long range, you can dial it on the farthest setting. The Scorpion Evo 3S1 has full ambi controls. It does have a non-reciprocating handle on the left-hand side that you can also swap to the right-hand side. The safety is also ambi, and also you can change the reach of the trigger. Each firearm is shipped with a magazine that holds 20 rounds, so this little pistol can hold 20 plus one. The pistol does have one QD mount right here where you can attach a sling. The pistol does have Picatinny rails also on the left and right hand side and also underneath. There's a cool little hand guard right here that will protect your hand from any kind of muzzle flash from the birdcage. The whole frame of this pistol is fiber reinforced polymer. It only weighs five pounds. I hope you enjoyed this video on the CZ Scorpion Evo 3S1 and we'll see you next week.